Oh no! Jack? Snickers bar. A hideous imitation of a hideous imitation of the one true candy bar, the Jizz bar. So you may ask yourself, what is the difference between a Snickers bar and a Jizz bar? Well, in a recent $2 study, leading scientists have confirmed that the main difference between the two is that the Jizz bar contains sperm which have been harvested from the penises of sinners. Meaning that every million dollars spent on the Jesus bar is another million dollar into the pocket of a sinner. Which brings up another disturbing topic. Did you know that 100% of Jesus bars consumers admit to having sex within one week of eating a Jesus bar? But it gets worse. Nearly 1% of convicted criminals in the US admit to having at least once before consumed a Jesus bar. So what does all this mean? Are these statistics merely coincidence? I think not! The truth is says that Snickers bars are in fact shit. Pastor Gus Booth is a strong believer in oral and Snickers, so you can only imagine his shock after finding his son with a Snickers bar in his past late summer 2012. I mean, this is the kind of stuff that you, that you hear about all the time on the TV or the news, and you just think, that stuff happens around here. Well, it did happen at my house. Stop the camera! Stop the camera! <laughs> the number of Snickers consumers is shockish, to say the least. And the gang members and other such criminals assume the Sunday school teachers are. Sir Arthur Holmes is sadly correct in his statements. Snickers bars have been slowly clawing their way into modern Christian culture. Within the last few years, Snicker bars have been smuggled into people's asses by smuggled Jesus bars have been found into salads. A celebrity gossip magazine published on March 26, 2010 had a picture of rap sensation William G holding what appeared to be a half-eaten salad. Pastor Gus Booth of Ward Community Church immediately announced a boycott against the rapper and publicly announced his deep disappointment. I am deeply disappointed. On April 4th, 2010, Boop lifted the boycott against Woody G and in recent years has even allowed him to make a few appearances at Ward Community Church during his sermons. I kinda like that guy. 